Hi friends, it's Miss Heather here. And do you guys notice anything different about me? Yeah, I'm wearing my mask. This is what I'll be wearing at school, something just like this one. Was it crazy? Could you barely hear me? Sometimes it's hard to hear in the mask. When we have that mask on, it's hard to hear. But guess what I found? For one of our mindfulness activities, I want to make sure you guys know what the teachers are thinking and feeling while we're wearing our mask and you can't see our whole face. Now we have some special masks that have a little cut out in them, but sometimes they fog up and you still can't see us. So I found this really cool book. It's called My Teacher's Mask, Back to School During COVID-19. It's written and illustrated by Inga Puffer, and she did a really good job with the illustrations. You're gonna love it. First, let's do our I can statement. I can use a book to gain information. Can you repeat that with me? I can use a book to gain information. Good job, friends. And the information we're gonna get from this book is about how me and the other teachers feel and think about you guys, even though we're wearing our mask. And remember, why are we wearing the mask? To keep you guys safe and to keep us safe. All right, are you ready? The first day of school is here. Sharpened pencils, crowns new. My blue backpack is ready. How fast the summer flew. I rushed to my classroom, room 223. I can see my new teacher is waiting there for me. I hope she has a class pet. I hope she doesn't yell. I hope she is friendly. I bet I can tell. <gasps> but wait, she's wearing a mask. What could be underneath? Why would she hide an ordinary pearly set of teeth? He seems upset, he's worried. Oh, could she be a vampire with pointed fangs to hide? I better keep fresh garlic by my side. Oh no, could she be a snail with 20,000 tiny teeth, stronger than titanium, hidden slyly underneath? Do you guys think that's what we have underneath our mask? My breakfast feels like boulders. I don't want to stay. Oh, he's feeling upset. He's so nervous. And now he's gotten really upset. How are you this morning? I hear my teacher say. Let's see if he can, if he can handle it. I'm a little nervous. School is not the same. No, she says it isn't. But I'm so glad you came. To help keep us all safe this year, I need to wear a mask. If you wonder what's underneath, you can always ask. Each day behind my mask, I will hide a giant grin. I will be so glad to see you. I'm thrilled when you come in. That's exactly how we feel. When you ask a great question, my lips will squish to one side, like she's thinking maybe. I'm so glad you made us think my mask will hide my pride. She's going to feel proud of, of her students. We feel proud of you guys all the time. We try to tell you, but sometimes it's just on our face and you just got to remember that we are really proud of you guys. When you tell a funny story, my mask will hide a smirk and it will hide a stirring stare if you lollygag at work. Do you guys ever get those crazy stares from your mom and dad or from whoever's in your house? Like, you better get your work started. You better get on that. They might hide a smirk too at school when our mask's on our face. You might not see it, but we might be like. When you're feeling sad, I will feel it too. And underneath my mask, I will share sorrow with you. That means she'll feel bad when you feel bad. I do that, and I know a lot of our teachers, all of us feel that same way too. 
My mask may hide my face, but it will never hide my heart. I will always show I love you and think you're a work of art. That's the truth, friends. We just want you guys to know how much we care about you and that even though our faces are hidden, even though our faces are hidden, we want you guys to know that we care about you guys so much and that we're smiling and happy and even sometimes we get stern with you. But you know that we love you first, okay? That's the end of my story. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Bye, friends.